Hello, Mark Laudy here. CFD trading has become popular in a market which has seemingly run away so far in 2012. Equity markets around the region have been moving higher very nicely on improved sentiment and possibly a few of those uh, pump priming dollars from governments finding their way into the equity markets. Uh, but obviously the question is, will this last in the face of the onslaught from the Greek debt crisis and a US economy which is in the early phases of its recovery? Well, Robin Ho joins us. He is a top-tier remisier at uh, Philip Capital. He'll be one of the speakers at a forthcoming event on the 18th of February where you can uh, find out a little bit more about the cash markets and also the CFD markets. Hi, Robin. Hi. Good to see you. So um, you're a top-tier remisier, which means presumably that you actually perform very well. How are you doing so far this year? Uh, this year has been uh, pretty good. Uh, we had a rolling start to the year. Last year, market was a little quiet. And uh, last year, the market uh, was volatile. It was difficult for traders. Um, in general, last year, the market, especially in the last half of the year, it was difficult because market tends to be volatile. And um, it actually traded more like sideways, mm. sideways down to sideways. Okay, how much is the market up by so far this year? Well, the market has like, um, gone up to maybe about like 10-15%. Uh, and how's your portfolio doing in that time? Oh, my, my, my portfolio has been um, doing well. Better than 15%? Yeah, I think it's much, much better than 15%. How do you achieve better or market beating gains? Um, I've been a trader for a long time. Yeah, um, I use the Philips CFDs to trade. Um, I'm a typical, uh, typically a trader that um, long and short market when the market is uh, bearish and if I see a market trending down, I would tend to short the market. And you do that using CFDs or warrants? Yeah, I use, I, CFD is the only instrument where you can uh, long and short, short the market. Right. In other words, you don't use cash equities for long and, and warrants for shorting. You use CFDs for both going long and short, meaning banking on or betting on a, a rise and a fall in the market. Um, I typically use CFDs for shorting. And uh, my cash account in uh, Philips, I use that for short-term trades. And I use the margin account for a medium to a longer-term trades. CFDs sound very risky, though. I mean, you can really lose your shirt on CFDs, can't you? Yeah, uh, CFD is a leverage instrument. It can either magnify your loss, or if you are on the right direction, on the long side, uh, it can reward you richly. Um, so it's a, it is an instrument like a double-edged sword. It cut, it cut both ways. Uh, unless you know how to use it, unless you have a trading strategy, you know what you're doing, um, then you can use uh, this uh, CFD to advantage. Uh, that okay, is so let's define that. How, how do you know when you know what you're doing in trading CFDs? I think trading is a um, uh, very exciting game today. A lot of people are, are coming in. Uh, the marketplace, the especially with the advent of uh, internet trading. Uh, information is flowing very fast. Uh, market is very volatile. You need to have, uh, before even you, you trade in the market, you place an order, you really need to have a trading plan. You need to know exactly when to enter the market and the minute you place a buy order, you already have a plan when to exit. Do you think many people do that? Most people in the market are momentum traders. So they buy and then they don't think about selling? No, momentum trader in the sense that um, when they see the market running up, they'll try to chase it. Yeah, it's like chasing a running train. Is that yeah. a good strategy? That's not a good strategy. Uh, in today's market, um, you really have to position yourself for the run, not to jump into the 
bandwagon when everybody is jumping in. It's just too dangerous. Because the bandwagon might very well stop or go the other way, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, so about the, the trading tools, you know, as a, as a layman, you, so for example, you see the city index mm -hmm. offering and then you, you look at what Saxo is offering and, and I mean, if you're, it's, it's like buying a car when you don't know what sort of car you want. Like every car looks good. Uh, so how do you, you know, how do you uh, pick the, the platform that, that you should be using? CFDs, Philip CFD has got uh, CFD2 especially, right? It is a very Im improved uh, trading platform uh, in the sense that uh, you, after you place the orders, uh, you can already protect your profits or you can place a stop loss that will limit your loss. Uh, on top of that, uh, you can even put the trading stops uh, to your orders and also CFD tools has got uh, special features. You can even trade on the live chart. You can just point to the chart, click it and you can buy and sell at the current price. That makes it very convenient uh, for traders. Uh, who treats uh, and does, doesn't want to flip uh, to different uh, screens. Okay, so where do people find out more about the CFD Trader 2 platform? Well, uh, you have a unique opportunity to find out about the CFD 2 on the 18th February. You should make it Every trader should make an effort to come and find. This is really a powerful trading tools which I'm using. And I will be doing a little demo on that uh, CFD tool. I will demonstrate how I use the tools to make my, do my trades. Uh, and also, this time uh, we have one of the renowned trader Mike Barrafiri, and he is the author of One Good Trade. He's a popular uh, trader uh, uh, and also a renowned uh, author. Uh, it will be good and excellent opportunity for, for you to come. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Robin Ho, top tier Remisia at uh, Philip Capital. And the details again, 18th of February, Suntec Convention Centre Level 3. It's being held in the afternoon, including guests from the Singapore Exchange, uh, Robin Ho, of course, from Philip Capital, and also Mike Bellafiori.